Hi everybody, I'm Clark Colborn. I'm a guitar player. Years ago I used to be in a band called Cheater, some of you might remember. Uh, I've been told that we were a little bit popular in the northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin area. Um, anyway, back in those days when I was in Cheater, we had some songs that actually made it to the radio. They were demo recordings, we did in recording studios. And fans off and on over the years have asked if we were ever going to release those. My standard response is, yeah, but I want to combine them with some, some live recordings that we did because we recorded uh, nearly every show that we played. But people have been giving me a little bit of grief about how long it's taking to, to uh, get this released. And I thought I would show you what it is that I'm sifting through to, uh, to find some good recordings. So our live recording process was nothing fancy. We simply recorded directly from our mixing console into a stereo cassette recorder onto 90 minute cassettes like this one. We had a set of 12. You can see this is number 11 out of the set. They were 90 minute tapes so that we could get a 60 minute set on there very easily. And having 12 tapes allowed us to record four nights worth of music. We'd go back to the motel, we would review our performances from the previous night or two, and anything that was worth saving, we dubbed onto another cassette like this. Occasionally we would replace the entire set of 12, but every four nights we would just re-record over whatever performance was, was on there. So between board tapes and copies that I made of board tapes, uh, I have literally hundreds and hundreds of cassettes here, each one representing between 60 and 90 minutes worth of music. I've got to go through every single tape, catalog which tape contains which songs, then I have to go back and rate every individual song in terms of recording quality and tape condition and performance quality. When all that's done, we'll take the best of each song, best recording of each song, we'll put that with our demo stuff and we'll put the Cheater album out. It'll be cool. I want to show you one more thing. Check this tape out. This is the kind of stuff I got to put up with. It says Cheater Live. This is, I think, a copy of one of the sets, but I don't know. One of the guys took it home. Looks like he recorded some Iron Maiden over the first part of the song. What? dumbass did that. Good grief. Hopefully, if this is a good set someplace, there is a duplicate tape of it, but who knows. Anyway, this is going to take a while. There's hundreds and hundreds of hours of material here that I have to sift through, and I do have my own live band right now. I have current recording projects going on. I have family. In other words, <laughs> I have a life. So, yeah, a lot of work ahead of me here. But for the Cheater fans, I'll do it. So there you have it. That's why it's taken so long, and I promise I'll keep on it. Uh, I'll chip away at it until I get it done, and someday the Cheater album will actually come out, and you'll be able to order it either through my website, ClarkPlaysGuitar.com, uh, or probably a download version through um, iTunes and Amazon and the like. So, all right, that's all I got for now. Until next time, live well, rock hard. See ya.